If you want to be successful at dropshipping, the best people to learn from are those people who have walked that path and doing it successfully themselves. For example, if you wanted to get in shape, you wouldn't go and hire a personal trainer who wasn't in shape themselves. You want to be learning from somebody who practices what they preach. And when you look at any successful dropshipping business, there are three pillars to their success. There are three things that go into making their business a success. Number one is the product that they're selling. Number two is the Shopify store that they're selling that product on and then number three is the marketing campaigns the advertising campaigns they're using to drive traffic to that Shopify store and in this video I'm going to show you all of those three things behind this proven seven figure business so the store in question today is called Breck and Fox um, this by the way is something that I still do myself today even though I've been drop shipping for six plus years now I have an account with Flipper and they send me email notifications every time a successful drop shipping business comes on onto the platform because I want to know what products they're selling, what marketing strategies they're using, what their store design looks like. Because every time you look into businesses that are doing things successfully and you get to see what products are selling, what marketing strategies are working, what Shopify store design layouts are converting the best, then this starts to rub off on you. It gives you ideas and it gives you motivation for your own business. So if you want to do the same thing, I highly recommend heading over to flipper.com. It's a platform where people come to sell their Shopify stores. And obviously, if you want to sell your Shopify store, then people need to know what products you're selling, what successes you've had, how you're selling those products, everything, essentially the inner workings behind that business, which makes it the perfect place to go for us dropshippers. So some background information on these guys is Breck and Fox. It's an eco-friendly e-commerce business in the home and decor niche, one of the biggest, most popular niches, and they're having awesome results. So they've done over a million in revenue, which I'll be showing you in a second, and this is with a 30% profit margin. Imagine, given my experience in the dropshipping space with my own stores and anywhere from sort of 20 to 30 percent is definitely achievable they have a social media following of 66,000 this is not to be understated this is more important than people think the reason why we have to pay for ads to get people onto our store is because nobody knows who we are and the reason why Amazon is so successful is because everybody knows who they are if we had millions of followers or we were a household name people would know to come to us without us having to pay to put our advertising in front of them. The site age is two years. They have a monthly profit margin of in and around $30,000 and they're getting approximately 125,000 page views every single month. One thing I really like about these guys is they have a clear mission statement. This really helps with kind of branding your store. Even though they're selling pretty generic products, which I'll show you in a second, um, they have a clear mission statement, which is going to resonate with a lot of people, which is going to help people feel like they want to buy from these guys because they agree with what they're trying to do. So their goal is to become carbon neutral. Our promise is to tread lightly on the planet we offset the shipment of your package to be 100% carbon neutral from December 1st 2021 to November 30th they've made 1.2 million dollars in sales with a 1.75 percent conversion rate this typically is on the low side but as we can see the drop in sales towards the middle of the year that's probably the reason behind this it'll be interesting to see if they have it actually and what their conversion rate is for q4 because as we can see this is where sales start to ramp up massively and this is where the bulk of their sales come from to offset our carbon footprint we have partnered with several organizations to fund verified carbon reduction projects around the world this can be a really nice way of kind of making your business a bit more real like I said going back to that whole mission statement having a reason for customers to buy from you so they feel good like they're helping support the planet and be environmentally friendly there's other big dropshipping businesses that adopt this same strategy if you look at twinkling tree I think it's called um, for every products that they sell for every unit they sell they vouch to plant a tree as well which just helps people feel like they're supporting a good cause by shopping with you it also gives you an advantageous kind of reason for somebody to shop with you versus a competitor that's selling the same product or as an example buying it from Amazon. Before we jump into the juicier stuff of taking a look at their store, their best selling products and their marketing campaigns, I just want to highlight the importance of the things that you don't hear a lot of people talking about, what goes on behind the scenes. So email marketing, as of November 2022, they outsource their email marketing. As a result, revenue drastically increased from 5% of their total to being 20% of their total. 20% is massive. That can be the difference between breaking even and being super profitable. So if you haven't got any email sequences set up behind the scenes, the beauty of email marketing as well is once you've set it up, it's automated. You just let it go and brings in recurring revenue without having to do any extra work. 
The same is said of SMS marketing. Late 20, November 22, they outsource SMS marketing that guarantees them $8,000 every single month or they waive their agency fee. So if they hit $7,999, that's additional revenue for free just from returning customers. What you've got to think is every time you run an ad on Facebook to acquire a customer, it's going to cost you 10, 20, 30 pounds. However, to reacquire that customer to spend a similar amount of money costs you zero when you use an SMS or email marketing. Well, it does cost you money, but it's pennies if you have a big enough list. Let's take a look at some monthly breakdowns in sales and just to reiterate how important Q4 is for our e-commerce business. And we can see here October 133,000 with a 54,000 profit. Um, if I can get to November, which is 400,000 turnover, which is pretty good, um, with a over $100,000 profit just in one month. Most people in the UK earn somewhere in and around 30 grand. One single month is enough for three years, if not four years wages um, here in the UK or for the average wage. So you could technically sit back for two or three years if your expenses are low enough just off of one month's work, which truly is just goes to illustrate the beauty of dropshipping. Let's take a look at their Shopify store then. It's taken me to this blank screen because I just went to click on my Koala Expector to see what theme they're using. They're using a Spark version. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that is, to be honest. I might need to do some research into that but they have this exit intent which is probably actually something I've never seen something I'm definitely going to test in my own stores because you want to know why people are leaving your store and not buying a product so if you can find that information out you can put things into place to solve that so if somebody puts shipping takes too long then you know you've got to look for other suppliers to source those products a bit quicker same thing for if shipping is too expensive this is invaluable information I'm going to try and find out how they did that maybe do a video on this because this is super super powerful and even though I've done it with other businesses that I run to have exit intents I've never actually considered doing it for e-commerce is something I'm definitely going to look into. I have a pop-up form which you can put your email in to get a $5 discount. I'm sure with the amount of traffic they're getting, especially around Q4 and people wanting to make a purchase of a product, um, that's definitely going to be working for them. I already know what their best-selling product is, but I'm just going to see if they're hiding their best-sellers or not. They are hiding their best-sellers, but their best-sellers, believe it or not, is this moon lamp. Well, I say believe it or not, um, I've been in dropshipping now for a good amount of time and this particular product I think popped up maybe three years ago, um, but every single year, year on year, just con continues to be a really good seller. So that issue of is it saturated, can it sell? I don't really believe in it too much, to be honest, because markets are so evergreen now. There's always new people looking for different products they've never seen before as people get older, as they transition into different periods of their life. So saturation doesn't really exist, um, if you ask me. That's just my opinion. Something else I wanted to show you, actually, just going back to the details, um, important point is the top country by page views. US is up there with 184,000. Obviously this goes without saying this is where the bulk, the majority of their sales are going to come from. They also have UK, Canada, Australia and Sweden. If you're watching this from the UK, I'm based in the UK, most of my viewers are. 57,000 is such a minute amount. They have not even scratched the surface with the UK or the US in my opinion. So if you're still looking for a product potentially for January time or sometime next year, I'll definitely shortlist list this one because we know that it's a guaranteed seller. Going back to the product page then for the best selling products, I'll show you in a second. So make sure you stay tuned to see how I know it is a best selling product. Um, 2,400 reviews, which is just bonkers. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that many actually. Um, when a store has that many reviews, you can't really argue with it. So they've probably imported a lot of these. They're not even image reviews either. Um, so next time you are building out your store, if you've not quite seen the results you'd hoped for, try and get some more reviews up there. The more, the better. Moving into kind of like the top section then, the main section, which most people are going to see straight away as soon as the page loads. Um, they have these buttons for the different variants, which I'm a fan of. It just makes it super quick and easy for people to um, select select what they want rather than have to click then scroll down and click again it saves an extra click which trust me can make a difference have a nice easy go-to size guide all the information is just crystal clear basically everything a customer needs to know essentially about this product um, is right here for them to just go ahead and make a purchase straight away these look enlarged to me so it does look like they're probably accommodating for an older generation so their fonts are not the default size they look a bit larger than normal to me which would help with that older generation um, of people who come onto the store and might find smaller fonts um, or smaller size fonts difficult to read as we scroll down there's nothing kind of 
amazingly overwhelming with this store not to be harsh on it but this is so easy to replicate for anybody even a beginner to create a proven seven figure store um, just like this one so from what we've just seen very traditional very easy to replicate they have a very nice faq with again just all of the information a customer would want to know and then just to fully illustrate the product in its full glory and what it does and how cool it looks that effects that it gives off they have a gif of all the different colors um, and just scrolling through they also have this pointing out with the perfect gift just to reiterate if you've got an anniversary graduation wedding valentine's day christmas or just because coming up um, then this would be an ideal present for that one person something quickly i just want to point out are these three bullet points here i'm a really big fan of doing things like this because it just helps you give condensed information about delivery or things like that that customers going to be wanting to know about before they place an order so i'm a really big fan of doing this they have this shop sustainable um, which brings us to a page to give more information about how they're supporting different projects and the environment and animals and different things like that. I think just a really nice touch that a lot of people will appreciate. And if they've seen this product elsewhere and going back to what I mentioned about saturation earlier on, because this is a popular product and they've probably seen it elsewhere and there might be um and ah in kind of tossing up whether they will make a purchase or not. The fact that these guys when you buy from them, a bit of money helps to do good. That's going to help tip people over the edge and it's going to encourage people because they'll feel good about buying from this company because they'll know their money has gone to a good cause or to help a good cause. So how do I know that that moon lamp is their best selling product? All I wanted to do, all I did was go on to the Facebook ads library. I put in Breck and Fox um, and look at all the ads they're running over a hundred different Facebook ad creatives and they're all advertising the moon lamp. So anybody who says saturation exists or you can't sell this product, these guys completely prove that that's not the case and you can no matter how saturated a product is if you can do things better than the next person there's always money to be made if we just go through these different creatives they've obviously tested a lot of different ones to find out what works best and just look how the majority of them start with the same thing a light to you in dark places a light to you in dark places a light to you in dark places all of these ad creatives or not all of them the majority of them are starting with that initial top line which just goes to show that must be the best line for capturing attention and getting people to look at the ad. A lot of these creatives as well, if I just open these up, they're not just a generic, boring, in your face, this is what it is, this is where you need to go and buy it, hurry, it's 30% off and free shipping. They have some information here, some like spiritual information. And this kind of looks like maybe it's a bit of a poem. Um, so rather than like just trying to hard sell someone and just shove it in their face and say buy this product right here right now they're trying to put something meaningful there to kind of bring people in again make them feel good about shopping with this particular business so with that being said i'm going to finish on that in fact so i think it's quite a nice touch um, instead of just trying to be this hardcore drop shipper trying to make as much money as possible try and build a meaningful brand that's making a difference in the world get on board with some charities. Even if you're just donating um, 10 pounds a month, it's still better than nothing. It still means you can have some information on your website to show how you're trying to help the world be a better place. It'll allow people to get on board with you. And like I said, feel good about shopping with you. And with ad creatives like this and a light to you in dark places, the world can be a very, not to get too deep, but the world can be a very dark place, especially with where and everything that's going on in the world. So this is genuinely going to help people feel a bit better about their lives or give them some comfort is what I'm trying to say. So all in all, just a brilliant business. And in my mind, I'm worth every penny for what they're trying to sell it for. And so with that being said, then guys, I'm going to wrap the video up there. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do make sure you subscribe. If you want some help getting your business off the ground, off the ground, I have a free training that will show you how to do that in 21 days. Zero to launch in 21 days from a complete beginner to having a fully fledged up and running business. Like I said, 100% free. And I'll also give you a copy of my 194 profitable product ideas for 2023. To check that out, check out the top link in the video description down below. Thanks again, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.